Hey folks, Joe here. Today I'm going to offer my top three recommendations for the beginner fabricator who wants to get started working at home. We're talking about three things that you need in your garage to make life that much easier, whether you're working on cars, trucks, motorcycles, heck, even mopeds, everything in between. So let's talk about it. So out the gate, number one recommendation is to consider adequate lighting. A lot of people think just the light from the ceiling or light coming through windows in the garage is gonna be enough to get the job done. No way. <laughs> There's nothing more frustrating than being under the car, under the bonnet, under the hood, and you can't see what the heck you're working on. It's a surefire way to make you wanna stop what you're doing and give up altogether. Eastwood offers a wide variety of lights, everything from individual can lights, we've got pucks, we've got wands, all the way up to more complete systems like our LED modular light kit. Now why I really like this kit is because of how versatile it is. You got the base module light unit itself that has a magnetic base, you can stick it anywhere you want. In addition, we have things like our underhood light bar, tripod, really bolsters out the kit to make sure you can shine light exactly where you need it so you get the job done and you don't end up frustrated. Lighting is key. Make sure you check out those options over at Eastwood. Now it's safe to say with most restorations or even basic repairs, a welder is really gonna come in handy. That's why I recommend our MIG 140 welder. This thing is a great workhorse. It's a low barrier of entry as far as cost is concerned and it really can get you up and running at your home shop. Things like it welds sheet metal all the way up to 3 16th of an inch. It can operate on a 120 volt outlet, which is common and I would guess almost everybody's garage. Also, if you absolutely needed to, you could operate flux core wire if you don't want to invest in the whole bottle system. So again, great unit, low cost, and it'll handle the thickest stuff you'll probably tackle on a restoration and it can plug right into your wall, easy peasy. Highly recommend the MIG 140. And last but not least, probably the most versatile tool you can have in your arsenal is our Contour SCT service conditioning tool. Now what makes this so versatile is how quickly and easily you can swap out drums depending on the job at hand. Everything from removing rust, paints, coatings, filler, all the way to the other end of the spectrum where you can even buff and polish with this thing. So again, I highly recommend you get your hands on one of our Contour SCTs. So there you have it folks, my top three recommendations for the beginner who wants to start tackling restorations or fabrication in their home shop. These are very DIY friendly solutions and they'll be perfect additions to your garage. So for more information on these items and everything else we offer, be sure to click the link and visit eastwood.com.